No way. No. For an all-in-one? No freaking way. Everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and I want to thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. You guys, welcome back to the final video of this little series that I have been shooting on my 2010 Civic. Um, it's coming along great. As you guys have seen, it is coming along great. Now my favorite part um, is getting the paint right and putting some protection on it. Um, you guys, I gotta stress, I'm not going after perfection on this thing. Um, I just wanna restore a little bit of shine gloss, maybe remove a little bit of defects, add some protection to it. It's gonna be a daily driver, so really not worried about making the paint perfect. Uh, I don't think this, paint, this car has ever had protection on it, so I'm jumping into it with the mindset of this this clear coat is extremely thin it's got some dings and that are through the you know all the way to the metal on the hood on one spot you'll see when i show you guys a walk around but i'm excited what i'm going to be using is um i'm going to be going with an all-in-one guys now some of you guys are wondering why didn't you ceramic coat it out my initial plan was to coat the car but on the hood on uh, upon inspecting the hood it's got some checking in the hood uh, very minor it's just starting but that's a clear indication that something is not right with the paint underneath the hood maybe it was resprayed at one point I'm not a hundred percent certain but um, you know the coatings have to have a good clear to bond to and I don't want to waste it on something that you know doesn't really need it, it doesn't need a coating I wanted to coat it but it doesn't need a coating so uh, my choice was, you know what, let me go with an all-in-one. Now, why would you choose an all-in-one uh, versus just cutting it and then, you know, doing the normal cut and polish or one step? Uh, for one, speed. I want to get this thing done. I'm not trying to spend a ton of time on it. So all-in-ones are great for that. Um, you lay down protection at the same time, removing defects and enhancing gloss at the same time so all in ones are perfect for what i think i'm going for clear coats a little bit thin they don't cut heavy um they're a great way to get around the car quick restore some shine and gloss add some protection and that's exactly what i'm looking for so i'll be going with the vonix blend um this is a sponsored video okay i want to put it out there it's not a paid sponsorship Vonix sent me out a whole bunch of stuff you guys saw. I've been playing with a lot of their products. Uh, it's not a paid sponsorship. They just said, hey, we want to send you some stuff. Try it out. Um, so I will definitely remember to put links to where you guys can buy these products and possibly even a discount code uh, to, to pick it up. But Vonix is their all-in-one uh, polish with Carnuba and SIO2 protection. It says up to four months of protection. That's fine. We're going to be topping it with their SIO2 Pro. This is their SIO2 sealant. So this is gonna be the, the, the double whammy right here, guys. This, basically, this, I was reading the back of this, this SIO2 Pro. You guys, if you guys want me to do solo videos on these, I mean, I can. This wasn't intended to be a product review. These are just what I'm using. You guys are gonna get my feedback on the products as well. Um, let's see, slick the touch, uh, it can be used. As a topper on coated cars, that's very good to say uh, to see. It can also be used um, paint, plastics, headlights, extending ceramic color, pretty much anything on the outside. It could be used as a standalone too, but I'm gonna pair it up with the blend, and uh, that's what I'm gonna be going for. Um, I'm gonna be using my Shine Mate EX6 2015 millimeter polisher and my little Flex uh, cordless to get 
all the tiny spots. So I'm excited. I want to show you guys the paint. Now, before we jump into the paint, I'm going to show you guys a quick clip before that of me uh, restoring the plastics. Uh, I went ahead and used my lithium uh, trim cubes and restored the wiper cowl and all the trim around the car. It worked fantastic. So you guys will see that before we jump into the walk around of the paint. Uh, looks incredible. It, I absolutely love the trim cubes. They brought the plastic back, back to factory uh, black, and I'm excited. It looks great right now. So um, let's jump into it. Let's get into it and see, uh, see what we can uh, transform this paint into with a quick one step all in one polish and let's have some fun all right everybody before we jump into polishing the paint we are going to address this nasty faded wiper cowl i reach for my lithium auto elixirs graphene infused trim restoration cubes now these little trim cubes are absolutely phenomenal i love them i'll put them in the link in the description as well as a discount code for lithium but these little cubes come pre-filled with the restoration product in it it's as simple as wipe on and pretty much wipe off any excess and you've got perfectly restored plastics not shiny not all greasy uh, just a nice factory finish and not only does it restore it but it also protects it like the beads are crazy when it rains absolutely phenomenal product um i do have a video on these trim cubes if you want to you know check it out it's a dedicated video after this video head back and check it out but uh i'm just tackling the wiper cowl here and the smaller trim around the the top and the edges and, and around the windows and stuff like that i just use one cube but yeah i'm tackling that getting it looking good before we move on to the paint the little cubes are awesome because it's really easy to, to maneuver them where you want it to go so yep trim cubes before we get to the paint all right everybody here is the civic it is all taped up as you guys can see the trim looks fantastic i love it got it all taped up i taped up the headlights because i ceramic coated them i don't want to brush up against them um with the polisher but this thing is trashed i mean absolutely trashed I mean, there's just there's just no clarity at all in the paint it's hard to see, but I can assure you it's very cloudy. It's very oxidized. There's lots of blotchy, I don't know what's all over the paint, but it's, I can almost assure you this paint was never protected. So, and it's really hard to see. There's no way you're going to see it on camera, but it's got these little checking. It's starting to check a little bit. So I'm treading very, very lightly, guys, um, very lightly. I'm not going for perfection, but... You know, we're going to restore a little bit of shining gloss, add some protection at the same time. So I'm going to get you guys set up. Like I said, I'm going to be using my uh, Shine Mate. And I'm also going to be using a Lake Country, just medium cut orange pad. It's not very aggressive at all. I know you guys always hear me say, start least aggressive. Well, I know for a fact that this is not an aggressive combo. The foam is fairly soft um i know what its abilities are it's a very mild approach blend also all-in-ones tend to not be very aggressive in terms of cut so our arm speed is going to be slightly quicker not as much pressure i'm not going after correction guys so if you see my arm speed moving kind of fast that's fine we will adjust and we'll get to it so i'm going to get you guys set up i'll do probably half the hood or a section of the hood 
and then we'll come in and see what this blend can do. All right, everybody, I've got my blend here. Like it says, I'm gonna put four dots on here. Like so. Cords going over my shoulder. We're just gonna do this section here. I'm gonna probably stay around speed three and a half on my on my polisher. Just like so. Go ahead and grab. I almost, I almost used my my normal towels that I use uh, for compound removal, but this is an all-in-one, so I didn't want to contaminate those with the with the protection that's in it, and then later on um, have issues with this. So I grabbed my Costco Kirkland's, some fresh ones. Let's go ahead and wipe this off. Wow. Whoa. No way. There's no way. No way. No. For an all in one? No freaking way. Uh, uh, you guys got to see this. Let me get you guys off of here. Sorry, guys. This is holy cow. Sorry, this is taking me a while. I got to unscrew you. Ugh. Holy cow. All right, guys, you can see just in the lights. I hope that you guys can see this. Hold on, bud. Sorry, guys, my son's calling me. That looks incredible. Wow. Okay, yep. I'm a believer. Fab, you were right, brother. Man, this stuff is... Wow. Okay. Time to get to work. I'll update you guys as I work around the car, but that is phenomenal. All right, everybody. I went ahead and finished the hood up real quick. Bring you guys in once again. Check out the clarity that we brought out in that hood with an all-in-one. The depth there are there deeper scratches absolutely there's tons of them but the clarity we brought out is crazy this thing looks killer for an all-in-one not really worried too much about it yes that is legit i mean you can see the difference in that fender and then we jump over here nice clarity very very impressed right now with this blend also it's also extremely silky buttery smooth under the towel i like that and it's only going to get better when i top it with the si02 pro so i'm going to get grinding on this i'll update you guys as i go around it uh, and whatnot so smurf's going to get to work and uh i'll be back all right everybody as we move on here uh, I wanted to 
touch on a topic that uh, one of my subscribers actually, you know, requested I kind of discuss um, in this, you know, part four video, and that's polishing technique. Um, so the way I go about it, guys, is think of it this way. Um, you really want to think about the amount of defect removal you're, you're trying to accomplish a, a slower arm speed and more pressure is going to yield better defect removal, um, a faster arm speed and less pressure. And this is also depends on which pad you're using. There's so many variables, uh, that it's up to you to kind of, tweak to how you, um, how do I explain this, how you want the defect removal to be. But the key is to pay attention to the back plate. As you can see, I've got the little black lines on the back plate. And if you pay attention to it, you want to make sure you keep that back plate spinning. Um, so that is what I do. Um, no matter how fast or slow I'm going, I am making sure that back plate is spinning at a really good speed. Um, if you're notice, if it's stalling and that and it's not spinning, then you're not doing anything. So that is mainly what I pay attention to here. And here in this video, I'm doing, I would say, a in between fast and slow arm speed, moderate pressure, really not putting much pressure down at all. I just want to make sure that that back plate is spinning and I do a couple passes and I see what kind of defect removal I get. Here I'm not going after defect removal really. Uh, I'm just trying to brighten up you know the paint, restore some shine and gloss, bring up some clarity out, out of the paint and whatnot. But for those of you guys that are that are trying to remove defects, there's a lot of people out there that ask, what pad, you know, oh, this and that, you know, what pad do I use? What compound? You guys, it's up to you guys. The, the clear coat will tell you. Start with a very light approach. Um, do a couple passes and then and then check your work. If, if you're happy with the defect removal you're getting, then stick with it. Um, you know, the few other things you can change are how much pressure you put down, your arm speed, um, a lot of variables. But um the clear will tell you what kind of defect removal you're getting. And if you need more, you could bump up your pad or your liquid, or you can change your technique, slow your arm speed down, apply a little bit more pressure. There's a lot of techniques, but it's up to you to get on the paint and figure that out. And that is the fun of polishing. Here you can see not much pressure at all couple passes and I was able to restore some nice shining gloss some clarity it's not perfect but it worked for exactly what I was going for all right everybody I know you guys hear me rave about my flex pxe 80 and yes I love it so much um, here I'm just uh, taking care of the front bumper and the intricate spots that I can't get my big polisher in I probably could have used a three inch polisher but why this little two inch pad uh the aps back plate with the aps extension that i got from detail division don't worry like i said i will put all the links to everything in the description below uh, for you guys to check out but yeah i absolutely love it it's an absolute scalpel i enjoy using it um, on the rotary mode with the two inch pad i mean it just worked flawless i love it um, yeah, I know I'm raving about it. I'm telling you, I absolutely love this thing. It works. I didn't get no, um, haze or anything. You know, I did put a little bit too much product. So I spun it in my cup, my cup holder in my little, my little detail, you know, trolley, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, uh, I'm just cleaning up the bumper and getting all the small spots. I can't get my big polisher in, uh, before we move on, uh, back to my five inch polisher.
all right everybody it is update time you guys this thing is looking absolutely just incredible incredible i was not expecting these results um i'm continued to be blown away by blend from vonix this stuff right here is probably my new favorite i mean all in one I, I'm I'm speechless. Like it's so easy to use. It's so easy to wipe off. The correction that you get it leaves protection behind. Yeah, it's not the most durable protection, but think of it. I mean, you you hit hit it with the all-in-one, then you come back with the SI2 Pro. You got yourself at least six solid months. One says four, the other says four. You would think eight, but let's be real about it. Solid six months. And guys, look at the freaking results I'm getting. Let me show you guys. So back here, I'm working my way around. So back here is the quarter I have not done yet. Now check out when we move over to this door. Check out the clarity difference. Holy cow, this, look at that. It's incredible. Hopefully you guys are picking that up. It's just, it's almost like it, it's too bright. But check out the depth we're bringing out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I have not done up here yet. Look at the difference. Holy cow. I I'm just, I'm baffled right now, guys. You can see back here. See if I can get a better shot. Sorry, let me move this out of the way so I can get a better shot of this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You just pay attention to the light. Incredible. I mean, you can see it without even using the light, the, the clarity. Went again and got the whole roof done. Look at that. I'm about to start working on this here. All right, I'm gonna get back to work, guys. Just here with an update. I'm loving it. It's looking great. Let's get back to work.
All right, everybody, Smurf is done. I am speechless. This thing looks incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. Is it perfect? No way. It is no way, shape, or form perfect. But with what I started with to what it is now, you guys, this blend from Vonix is incredible. It is, that is my Smurf stamp of approval. Vonix blend, hands down, the best all-in-one I've ever used. This thing, it cuts like a freaking compound, man. This thing cuts and finishes so well, leaves this, the paint silky smooth, finishes out perfectly, you guys. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna show you guys, okay? Oh, sorry, guys. Here it is. Look at the gloss, guys. Look at the gloss. Would you just look at it? Would you have a look at that? Man, I polished all the glass. Man, man, man. This thing looks absolutely phenomenal. You guys are gonna hear me say that multiple times, but man, does it look good. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, guys, at all. Oh, Smurf is in geek out mode right now. This thing looks, ah, oh, this thing looks incredible. Huge difference. And guess what the best part is, guys? I have not even put the SIO2 Pro on it. It's going to get even glossier, guys. It's going to get even glossier. Oh, man. Out of an all-in-one. Let's pull this tape off. It's just, I am baffled at the amount of defect removal that I was able to achieve with an all-in-one polish, guys. I know someone's out there again. If he says guys one more time. All right, guys. Guys, guys, guys. All right, so next up, I'm probably gonna put you guys on my head and I'm gonna show you guys kind of me uh, applying the SIO2 Pro. All right, everybody, so we got this thing done. Hopefully you guys can hear me, I got you on my head. I got, got my applicator here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply SIO2 Pro. This is their ceramic sealant. Paint plastic headlights. So we're gonna go ahead and get this applied everywhere. I went ahead and I shook it up really well, primed the bottle. I'm gonna use an applicator pad because I feel like this gives me more control over the product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two sprays. I'm gonna come in. The paint is already so slick from the all in, from the blend, it's incredible. All right, so this feels like nothing's going on. I can't really see anything on the paint. I know two sprays is enough though. Hey, it says it's gonna go, go on plastic, so. All right, I'm gonna come down here and grab my fresh towel. And I'm gonna, oh, woo hoo Oh, man. That is just, oh, it smells really good. Oh, honestly, the, <laughs> Since the blend has time had time to cure, it's gotten ultra slick. Oh man, that's awesome. So let's go ahead. What I'm gonna do is one spray. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this other half of the hood. This should make it pretty easy. You should be able to get around the car fairly quick. All right, let's resume. Sorry about that, guys. My son was going crazy in there. All right, so it's still a little damp, honestly. I could probably, could probably do this fender with the amount of product that I still have on my applicator. 
So the applicator's still wet. I could feel it. Now, one thing that I've learned as a detailer is a little bit of product goes a long way, especially when it comes to these um, SIO2 sealants, ceramic sealants and stuff like that. Oh yeah. This is incredibly slick. I mean, like just insanely slick. Oh, I wish you guys can feel this right now. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. Uh, don't judge me guys, you know you're addicted to the slickness. Just make sure you get all areas covered. I mean, it's already protected from the, uh, the blend. But this is just the cherry on top. Oh man. It feels so nice. Oh, all right. Let's get this thing done. All right, folks, we are finally finished up with the Civic. Oh man, this thing looks incredible. Let me show you guys the final product and how glossy and how shiny this thing is. I am absolutely blown away at what this thing looks like. I was not expecting that. Um, I did put a lot of work, but most of my work was on the interior getting that thing clean. So let me show you guys what we got. All right, so. This is after the Vonix SiO2 Pro. I went ahead and dressed up the tires with my favorite Wowo's Tire Restore. It just gives me the perfect dark black look that I'm after. And look at this thing, guys. Look at the gloss. It's incredible. The slickness, the slickness is insane. Way more than I expected or that I even really wanted to do. It looks like I I did a full polish on it and, and, and really my arm speed was pretty fast. And I got around the car in half the time I would normally spend on the car. Um, so really, I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm in geek out mode. Look at those tires. The tires look perfect. Oh, that was my knee, I know y'all heard that. The Continentals are looking good. The headlights are looking good. Oh man, I'm blown away. It is glossy as all get out for a daily. Honestly, she probably wouldn't even recognize this car, guys. This thing looks, <laughs> oh, this thing looks incredible. It looks incredible. Man, all right, all right. Let's jump into some final thoughts and go over what it took to get this paint looking this good.
right, everybody, there you have it. Can you guys believe it? This thing looks freaking, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it right now. I am blown away. Full geek out mode. I don't know if that or I'm just sleep deprived, but this thing looks absolutely insane. I did not expect the results that I got, and that's the truth. Uh, I could tell you what, Vonix Blend and SIO2 Pro get the ultimate Smurf stamp of approval for sure. These products are phenomenal. The blend, it is so easy to use, lays down the protection, cuts amazing, leaves the paint really slick, finishes down, gives it great gloss. This is a fantastic product right here. Absolutely loving blend. And then the SIO2 Pro, the cherry on top. So the blend says about four months of protection. The SIO2 Pro as a standalone will get you four months. That's what the little four is right here with the little shield. So that shield is protection because you protect yourself with a shield. So this one says four as well. Let's see if I can get that in the camera, boom. So you would think eight. I would, I'm gonna go six to eight months of protection depending on how I take care of it. You know, using the pH neutral soap, washing it, taking care of it. I can't wait to see the hydrophobics of this stuff. And you guys best believe I will film a maintenance wash on it just so you guys can see because i want to see and i know you guys want to see as well who loves the hydrophobicity um let's talk about it uh my my shine mate ex6 2015 with the um, lake country orange cut medium pad did a fantastic job i did on the driver's side it had some really etched in water spots and i didn't want to really go up that much more aggression but i feel like the lake country pad is almost equivalent to the yellow Rupes pad as far as cut and stuff like that. And those are the two most medium medium ones I got besides my Eurofiber, my microfiber, and my wool. But I went to the, I remember I had the Griot's Boss orange pads. They're thinner, translates to just a little more uh, power from the machine to the paint compared to the thickness of one of these. As you guys can see here, so I just needed that little bit more cut and it seemed to do a good job. I didn't get all the water spots out. I mean, severe, severe, severe etching of water spots. And um, I knocked them down about 80, 85%, but they're still in there. I can see them. Somebody would probably look at this and be like, I don't see any water spots. Okay, well, I got the eagle eye. So uh, yeah, so blown away, blown away, blown away. Uh, the SIO2 Pro, it smells amazing. This stuff smells really good. My whole garage smells good right, good right now. The applicator, you can smell it as you're applying it um, to the paint. It just, it smells good. Honestly, it looks like there's nothing going on in the paint. You just have to trust that there's stuff going on the paint. If you can't see it, because um, if, the, if the applicator's wet, if you feel it and it's damp, there's product. So... With me, after the applicator got primed, I would just feel the pad. Once I start to feel it kind of dry out, I would do one spray. And I mean, one full spray can get me pretty much the driver door, the window, the A-pillar above it, everything to that driver door. One spray will get you uh, the whole hood probably. Uh, and I learned that really quickly. And you'll know that when you start using sealants and spray sealants, you'll start to learn the product. But this stuff is phenomenal, wipes off easy, super high gloss, ultra slick, everything we love about doing this job. And I am blown away, I'm happy. My little flex unit, oh man, this thing right here, this thing is, the more I use it, the more I love it. The little, as you guys saw, the little extension with the um, two inch pad, Got all the contours, because my shine mate will stall. I will tell you that right now, it will stall. Uh, so rather, all I did was go around and hit it with my five inch where I needed to, and then picked up my three inch and all the little areas in the front bumper and stuff when I needed it. And it worked fantastic, I love it. I only went through two batteries. So the first battery died, I threw it on the charger, I grabbed the second battery. By the time the second battery was done, I didn't need it anymore, so. Two full batteries, they, uh, they last about anywhere from 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on what speed you're running it on. But I love it. It really has become a scalpel in my detailing routine. I love it. 
I will try to remember to put links to everything, guys. I promise. Um, man, um, this is it. This is the last episode of the series, guys. And from where this Civic started to where it is now is absolutely incredible. If you guys took the time to watch all my videos in this series to the end and support, I cannot thank you guys enough. I love all you guys. This was a job and a half. It really was. Countless days, a full week with working and then getting off of work and spending a couple hours each night all week. This thing transformed and it was worth it. Like I said, if it wasn't my car, I wouldn't be putting this much work into it, especially the interior, but it looks incredible. I can't wait. It's gotta get the windows tinted. Uh, I finished it off with my Whoa Whoa's Tire Restorer. I can't get this stuff anymore, I guess. So, um, favorite, it just it leaves the tires the absolute perfect finish. I love it. You guys, that wraps up the series. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments. The Civic is done. It looks beautiful. It does. It looks beautiful. The old owner wouldn't even recognize it, I bet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, Smurf is whooped. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to eat some dinner. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash that thumbs up while you're down there. Click that little notification bell. That way when I upload more videos, more how-tos, paint polishings, coatings, series, detail series, you know, stuff like that. You'll get notified. So I appreciate you and uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch and support. You guys know I love it and um, I hope you guys all out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching. And I'm going to catch you guys all on the next video.